Hello everyone, I'm River Fox and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be carrying on with our Plankton AFK Endurance Build series. Now if you have missed any of the other episodes in this series don't forget you can check out the playlist will be linked in the description down below. So in today's video we're going to be going through what is my amplifier D and this is the amplifier which is directly to the southwest of the map over here. Now this, um, this is our amplifier up there which has got my recycler on it that will be a separate video again but your spawn points for this amplifier will always come from this direction they always seem to be around down here for this amplifier for this then we have two possible ways that they can go up they can either go up this ramp up here which is where we're going to be trying to force them up or underneath all of this block off over here there is actually another natural ramp that leads straight up so we blocked all of that ramp off which we will go through step by step and we're going to try and force them to go up this direction now I would probably say that 90% of the time they won't even make it up into the tunnels up at the top. The only reason that I have these tunnels set up is you do get mini boss waves on this amplifier and sometimes the mini bosses can literally they just go past pretty much most of your traps and won't take any damage unless of course they are trap vulnerable mini bosses so i have all of these set up there so that it will catch that mini boss and hopefully get them all taken out so they don't cause any problems so most of the husks will actually get taken out by our big lobber shield here now this amplifier and this build does link in to our other amplifier E uh, which is directly next to it so there's going to be a bit of an overlap between the builds so what I have done just for the purpose of this video is I have set up here um, a wooden wall just along the top just so that we know that anything from this part to the right is going to be for this amplifier and anything over there that will be covered then in another video which will be for the final amplifier and I'm gonna leave this one till last although it does work perfectly fine I do want to see if I can try and make some changes to it I'm not quite happy it does use quite a few traps in this one because of multiple mini boss attacks so I want to see if I can try and, and reduce the amount of traps that are used there. But it does work perfectly fine nonetheless. So without further ado, let's, let's get into our traps. Now we're going to leave the roof part until last. So what we are going to do, we are going to come over here and we do have this natural ramp heading up here. So at the very bottom of this natural ramp, you're going to want to place a floor with a wooden floor spikes on it and directly in front of that you're going to have your edited wall on the right hand side of it just like so on the right hand side of you then you will have a wall launcher now for this we're going to carry on facing towards the east just to make it easier for you so if you then move to your left one square and place another wooden floor spikes down and then move forward you are going to place a, another one and then you will have another one and basically just keep going until you hit this natural part of the mountain here so you're going to have one two three four you're going to have five wooden floor spikes on the floor now you don't need to worry about any traps along this wall that is perfectly fine but directly in front of you at the edge of the mountain you do want to place a broadside and then on the left of that you are going to have just a plain blank wall now up above this plain blank wall you are going to place two more plain walls just so that you've got three high going up there and we will leave that one until we get to that section up the top so that is going to cover this section here so if you then come back to the bottom of your natural ramp and what you want to do is sort of pretend that you are going to be placing imaginary structures up on the floor so if you walk up about halfway 
and just in front of you you are going to place another edited wall on the right hand side of you just like so on your right hand side you will have a wall launcher if you then move up a little bit further and you're going to have another edited wall on the right hand side of it and another wall launcher then on your right so it will go like that like a staggering step effect once you get to the top of this natural ramp you're going to place a tar pit on the floor you will have another edited wall on the right hand side and you will have a wall launcher on your right and the reason we've got these edited walls like this is if any smashers do come at all then they are going to get pushed over the edge down there where they have to walk straight back up again so from here move forward again you're going to do exactly the same going forward here so another tar pit on the floor edited wall in front of you on the right hand side and to your right a wall launcher move forward again and you will have another tar pit on the floor, another edited wall in front of you, and another wall launcher on the right hand side. Now from here, if you then move to your left hand side one square, and you're gonna place then a wooden floor spikes on the floor. Directly in front of you will be an edited wall like this. To your left, you're gonna have a wall darts, and behind you will be a broad size and these pretty much are identical to the tunnels which we've done on previous amplifiers so from this point move forward another square and you'll have your wooden floor spikes on the floor you'll have your wall darts on the left and you will have a broad side then directly in front of you if you then move to your right one square and you're going to go back to your tar pit on the floor your edited wall on the right hand side of you just in front here and to your right a wall launcher okay now from this point here then if you then move forward one square and you're going to have a wooden floor spike on the floor you will have your wall darts on the right hand side and you will have an edited wall like so just in front of you if you then move to your left one square and you're going to have your tar pit on the floor you're going to have wall darts on the left hand side and a broad side behind you and directly in front will be the edited wall like this if you then move forward one more square and you will have your tar pit on the floor wall darts on your left hand side and a broad side directly in front of you and then move to your right and you have wooden floor spikes on the floor your edited wall like this on the left hand side and a wall darts then on your right and this is going to fetch you up to your amplifier which is under here so we're going to go through that as a separate video because that is also my recycler as well so from this point we're going to start heading back out now and we need to place our ceilings so we are going to place two ceiling pieces here we will go on to the top of those once that is done because of course this will not be there at the moment so you can ignore that but so you're going to have two floor pieces going along here and we are facing now towards the west so from here you will then move forward one square and place another two and then if you move forward again and you're going to place another two floor tiles and again another two floor tiles and again will be another two floor tiles now from here we are going to go forward another square but this time you're going to place one two three four and five just ignore these wooden structures for the time being that's just to show you where to stop you'll know when to stop because it will reach the edge of this piece of mountain here so we've got five pieces going across now all you are going to need to do then if you come back over to this square and if you then do another one two three and four going forward and fill those in so that it makes that full square shape now once you have done that you need to come over to your last tile that you have placed here and then place another two facing towards the west
and that's going to do all of the the roof pieces so we need to come all the way back over here now back to our trap tunnel so we can place our traps on these so for these we are going to have a ceiling electric field filling these four squares of this trap tunnel so we got one two three and four now as you start heading out towards this section down here these are going to get changed to ceiling gas traps but we won't have any in there we don't need to worry in there there's no need at all because as i said this is mainly for the mini bosses so the mini bosses aren't going to end up going in that section so once you get down to these sections with our tar pits and our wall launchers you are going to place ceiling gas traps so you'll have one two three and four now once you get to the very top of this natural ramp again then that is when we are now going to change over to ceiling drop traps and what you will need to do if you just carry on from this point you're going to place one and two and three going down this line which will take us down to this section so from here if you then turn over to the north and you are going to place two going to the north and then another two and then another two and then another two now from this one you also need to place two on these two pieces that you have placed there as well now from here the only other row that we need to do is to fill in this row which will be going over the top of all of our floor spikes down here so this will take us all the way to the end now you do not need to worry about placing any in here because to be honest majority of husks don't even head in this direction they they see all of this block off that we've got set up and they they don't really tend to head that direction at all so although it is going to be literally just not actually on there but that is just placed up there just so you know that is where you stop these are your traps that you have got ignore everything from from that side for the time being so that will be what your ceiling pieces will look like so if i just get rid of these hopefully without destroying any wrong traps here there we go and uh, this one and this one which i completely missed there we go there we go right so the only other bit now that we've got left to cover for this amplifier is our block off over here now as i say there is a natural ramp which runs under here um, it will go these two squares and head up this direction so from here where we've already placed our blank walls up here you're going to come and you're going to uh, place a wall launcher and then a second one and a third one and just to make sure just place a blank wall in on this side in case any husks want to come in through there so from this come behind these walls and you are going to place in on the backs of these walls you are going to place in some of these which are wall spikes and these are just to strengthen the the walls just to make sure that if there is any husks trying to do any damage on them that they're not going to destroy the walls they will keep repairing themselves so once you've done those you are then going to place in a edited floor piece like this and an edited cone which is pointing to the southwest and surround it then these two walls on uh, on the back and sides if you come into the next box across this one is exactly the same as got wall spikes has your edited floor piece like this and your edited cone pointing to the southwest with another two walls behind it to the left one squared again and exactly the same so you've got your wall spikes on this wall 
you have your edited floor piece like so and you also have your cone pointing to the southwest now i did place one more uh, wall spike on this one i mean i don't think it's really necessary but you you can place it on there anyway just make sure that nobody gets in there at all and this wall will already be in there so just place a wall behind you here so that will be the first row of the block off now from here on top of these two tiles here these two walls which we've placed you will need to place in two floor pieces and then you're going to place edited cones on the top which the only piece which will be up is this bottom left corner so that will make this shape and do that for both of those two and that will do the second row of block off now behind this we're going to place two more walls and then we're going to place two more floors on top of that and two more of the edited cones on top of that and that will complete all of your block off so this this is pretty much what it's going to look like from the top over here and this will this will easily do the defenses for this amplifier as i say nine times out of ten i've noticed when i've run the endurances i mean the this trap up here, these two wall launchers may occasionally get used in the later waves, but other than that, pretty much nothing else even goes up there. Majority is taken out by all of these ceiling drop traps. So there we go. That is your amplifier, which is directly to your southwest. So I hope you do find this video useful. If you do, don't forget to hit that like down below. Smash the subscribe before you go. If you turn on the notification bell, you'll always get updated on my content when it comes out. You can follow me over on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Don't forget, I do stream quite regularly over on Twitch, so you can check me out on there. And if you do find them useful, please consider using code RiverFox, as it will help me out a great deal. But until the next time, I hope you have a lovely day. And stay safe, my friends.